Hi there, it's Christine McIver from GRNTraining101.com. Today's session is on how to create an email signature in Microsoft Outlook. So let's go ahead and get started. I've opened up my Microsoft Outlook and what you want to do is you want to go up to the top where it says Tools. Click on Tools and scroll down and find Options. Go ahead and click on Options and then when you get another window, your Options window, you want to click on Mail Format. And down at the bottom there's a button that says Signature Picker, so go ahead and click on that. And what you want to do, you're going to notice that I have some signatures already. If I click on them, the signature will change. Okay, if we want to create a new signature, simply go ahead and click New. And you're going to title it, so I'll just title it as Test Signature and then you want to leave it as the default. Start with a blank signature and click on Next. Now in this window it's like a a miniature word editor window. Go ahead and create your signature. So type in your name. You can type in what you do, uh, the company that you work for. So I'll just, whoops, and your position. Uh, you'll want to put your phone number. I do encourage you to put both a uh, local and uh, a toll-free number. And then you'll want to put your website. You may want to add maybe a motto here. Um, I save my customers up to 90% off their vacations. You know, you can put quotes around it. That way they know it's coming from you. We can highlight it again, click on font, and maybe we'll italicize it. Okay? And that's it for your signature, unless you want to add a picture. If you do want, if this is all you want, all you have to do is click finish. Actually, I'll do that. I'll go ahead and click finish, and there it is. So if uh, we close out of this window, and if I open up a new email, it's actually another one's my default to insert your signature your new one if you have multiple signatures you just click on insert come down to signature and then choose your signature I just created that test signature I'll go ahead and click on test signature and there it is it's as simple as that if you do want to add a picture which I highly highly recommend you are going to go back into tools options come into mail format and then your signature picture and now instead of clicking on new you're going to find that signature so I'll click on test signature and instead of clicking on new we're going to click on edit and we're going to click on advanced edit now because here's where we can add in HTML it's going to bring up a little pop-up window. It says this will launch an editor that is not part of Microsoft Outlook. Do you want to continue? Click yes. Okay, we're now in the text editor, the HTML editor. Now in order to add a picture, we're going to simply choose where we want to put our picture, so right above my name. I'm going to go up to the top and click on insert picture from file. And now, instead of grabbing it from my computer, you need to grab a URL. You need to grab an image URL. Your picture needs to be uploaded to the internet already. So I've uploaded my image to uh, my server where I'm hosting my, my domain name.
So that's where my picture is sitting. I'm going to uh, enter that in and click OK. And there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. It's going to ask me to save the test signature. Click Yes. Okay, so now let's come back into our signature picker and look at that. I clicked on test picture, test signature, and the picture's in there. So if I get out of there, get out of there again, if I click on new, oh, it's going to put my default in there. I'll show you how to change that right away. And go ahead, click insert, signature, test signature, and there it is. Okay, and now I'm going to go and show you how to change the default. So again, back up into Tools, Options, Mail Format, and it says here, use the signature by default. You've got a pull down menu, click on the pull down menu, and I'll move this up so that you can see the whole window. So click on the pull down menu, click Test Signature click OK, come back up, do new, and voila, we now have my our test signature already in there. I sure hope you enjoyed this session today. If you did, please leave a comment below. I'd really appreciate that. If you're a Twitter user, go ahead and tweet my video to your followers. I'm sure they'd appreciate it as well. Well, this is Christine McIver signing off for today. Don't forget to live, laugh, and travel.